Hello, I'm Donald Sebastian, Senior Vice President for Research and Development here at NJIT. We're in our College of Computing Sciences. It's another conversation from the edge, and this afternoon we're speaking with Mei Lu, the new Assistant Professor in Computer Science. Her area of expertise is in data mining with applications in biomedical informatics. So Mei Lu, tell me, what does all that really mean? Okay, first of all, data mining is about finding patterns in large amount of data that we cannot normally see. And uh, to, from those patterns, we learn knowledge. So my research area is to learn clinical knowledge from medical records, where we have longitudinal information on patients regarding their diagnosis, medications, treatments, and the, the responses they have. So that's my research. So a great deal of the effort right now in the United States is to get physicians to adopt electronic medical records. In the short term, it's more about efficiency in their business process. But the objective is really, I believe, to make the right framework to use the sort of clinical advice that you could provide. Can you give me an example of the sort of information that a physician might get as a result of your research? For example, um, we can, by looking at this large population of data, we can actually learn, um, for example, um, why certain people react to medications differently um, than others. Um, a specific research I'm working on right now is the adverse drug reaction detection. As we all know that med medicines are very useful and helpful for us in treating and controlling diseases. However, they come with a lot of uh, side effects. Uh, some of the side effects are minor, like headaches and uh, um, nausea, but some of them are very severe, like heavy bleeding and the increased risk of uh, um, heart, at heart attack. Unfortunately, a lot of these severe um, reactions are not discovered during the uh, drug development process. They occur in patient use during hospitalization, and uh, they can cause uh, ex extended um, hospital stay and can cause death. So actually, it was uh, estimated that every year in the United States, there are approximately 100,000 deaths linked to the adverse drug reactions. So obviously, this is a healthcare problem, a huge healthcare problem. So my research will increase the understanding of the mechanics be behind the adverse drug reactions and it will help physicians to uh, better design their treatment for patients, thus re reducing the healthcare cost. So one of the things that we're learning in the convergence of life science and the other professions is that the human response is not uniform. Mm -hmm. We have slight variations in our genetics that may make a drug perfect for 30% of the population and deadly for 70%. And so it would never get to market and therefore can't help those for whom it might have been a benefit, mm -hmm. as well as avoiding adverse reactions in a small population that might have passed clinical trials. Mm -hmm. Is that the sort of work that can come out of your research? Yes, definitely. Um, when the drug is being developed, we can look at the chemical structures, the biological properties of the drug. This kind of information will help um, drug engineering and development process. And uh, in the post-marketing phase, where we see the drugs in use in patients, so we can see the patient use and their response in the electronic medical records. Then from the records, we can do a lot of analysis. For example, we can analyze the gender differences or racial differences in people, uh, the, the variation in the drug response. And we can also look, definitely look at the genetic differences if we actually have genomic data on the patient. Well, that's a very good point because now the, the analysis of the human genome is becoming more commonplace, less expensive. We have partners like Coriel mm -hmm. uh, Institute here in Camden, New Jersey, that are very much interested in developing a national, even international database of that kind of information. So you would project that will make your life even easier. Yes, yes? definitely. When, when gene genomic data is connected to the EMR, that's uh, very valuable information. In the uh, research in my uh, personalized medical research. So perhaps a decade ago, people would not have believed that computer science faculty members and researchers worked in medical applications like this. Clearly, you straddle multiple disciplines. What are some of the other professions that you would pull together in your work here at NJIT? As I can see, um, first of all, we can definitely work with uh, biochemists and biomedical engineers. So, um, and also, I definitely want to collaborate with doctors and nurses. Excellent. So when we talk about big data, 
Sometimes we think about it in the context of our digital everywhere strategic focus. This is a perfect example where it also straddles into our life science, uh, convergent life science and engineering focus. It's wonderful to have you on board. I wish you good luck in your career. Thank you. And that's another conversation from the edge at NJIT where we make science work for everyone. Mm -hmm.